Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Corrupt Bernie Sanders found guilty. Hillary is next. Bernie Sanders has received some very bad news after what the Federal Election Commission (FEC) has discovered. It may have taken some time to determine the ruling or unearth the evidence, but they found it, and it's going to cost Bernie Sanders quite a few dollars since he was found guilty. The FEC has fined 2016 presidential candidate Bernie Sanders $14,000 for illegally accepting in-kind contributions from a foreign entity. This particular ruling stems from a February 2016 conservative activist group Project Veritas video where it showed Australian nationals forking for the Sanders campaign while at the same time being paid by the Australian taxpayer-funded ALP. Shortly after the release of this video Republican and former New Hampshire House Speaker William O'Brien filed a complaint with the FEC. This complaint alleged that the ALP had made prohibited foreign contributions to the Sanders 2016 presidential campaign. The fines were levied in February 2016. According to the FEC, the Australian volunteers engaged in political activities included encouraging voter attendance at campaign events, canvassing, planning events and recruitment of volunteers. The Sanders campaign treated the ALP delegates no differently from any other campaign out-of-town volunteers and was aware that they were receiving a stipend from the ALP, the FEC added. Here is more on this via Western Journal. While volunteering with the Sanders campaign, the Australians engaged in political activities including encouraging voter attendance at campaign events, recruiting volunteers, canvassing with volunteers, and planning events, according to the FEC. The Sanders campaign treated the ALP delegates no differently from any other campaign out-of-town volunteers and was aware that they were receiving a stipend from the ALP, the FEC added. The ALP spent $16,140 for the Australians' flights to the United States and $8,282 for their daily stipends. The FEC determined that amounted to a $24,422 prohibited in-kind foreign contribution the Sanders campaign accepted from the ALP. A Sanders spokesperson said in a statement to her that the campaign doesn't think it broke any rules. During the course of the campaign, thousands and thousands of young people from every state and many other countries volunteered. Among them were seven Australian young people who were receiving a modest stipend and airfare from the Australian Labour Party so they could learn about American politics, the spokesperson said. The folks on the campaign managing volunteers did not believe the stipend disqualified them from being volunteers. In order to avoid a long and expensive fight with the FEC over the technical status of these young people, the campaign agreed to pay the FEC a small settlement but did not agree that it broke any rules, the Sanders spokesperson added. O'Brien told her Tuesday he was disappointed the FEC did not make a connection between ALP and the Australian government. I'm disappointed that it's not comprehensive, O'Brien said of the FEC's ruling. It doesn't go into the Australian government funding. And I'm disappointed that it doesn't go with greater specificity into the actual things that they were doing. I'm disappointed that they didn't go to what was the effect on the campaign. It's basically the Australian government using the conduit of a socialist party to assist the socialist candidate in the United States, O'Brien said. The FEC's ruling against the Sanders campaign follows the February 16 indictment of 13 Russian nationals who interfered in the 2016 election in support of Sanders and then-candidate Donald Trump. Sanders denied his campaign received support from Russians during an interview last week with Vermont Public Radio. They were supporting my campaign, no. They were attacking Hillary Clinton's campaign and using my supporters against Hillary Clinton, Sanders said. This information about Bernie Sanders might give those who are investigating others for similar legal activities. Some believe Hillary Clinton might be targeted next for her possible involvement in an assortment of incidents that people might be looking into. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.